The event today is um, for the launch of the cycling uh, handbook, which this is one example, this one's in English. We have it in 17 languages. Here we launch these posters. They're basically saying cycling is affordable, healthy and convenient. And we distribute them to community centers and other interested parties to get people to think about cycling. And our next step is to show people what kind of things they can do in Toronto and how to cycle in Toronto and what are their rights and what are their obligations. Toronto is, is an absolutely magical city. There aren't any places I can think of where you'd get a, a settlement organization like Culture Link and a bike activist organization like the Bike Union to fill a gymnasium on a summer night in, on a Friday with people who want to marry those two very important things about our city together. It's just fantastic. The Toronto Community Foundation looks for programs that respond to issues we see in Toronto's vital signs. So the Cyclist Handbook not only addresses issues of transportation, it also addresses environmental issues, it addresses health issues, and these are the kinds of really innovative programs that our foundation is interested in funding. In partnership with CultureLink, the Toronto Cyclist Union, uh, through the Partnership for Integration and Sustainable Transportation, launched the Toronto Cyclist Handbook. Uh, it's now available in English and another top 16 languages spoken in Toronto. And it's a great opportunity for us to share really good information about cycling tips, tricks, rights and responsibilities of people cycling uh, around the city both for recreation and for transportation. So doing a newcomer outreach in and around cycling and this is one of our key tools to getting that information to folks in Toronto. CultureLink and the Partnership for Integration and Sustainable Transportation and we're at this Southeast Asian Community Festival at Harborfront today to distribute the Toronto Cyclist Handbook and talk to people about the benefits of cycling and how to do it safely and enjoyably in Toronto. Barbara is going to move everybody down to the left side over there and then we can all go in as a big group. I'm Fei Tang, I'm the host program manager at CultureLink. Today we're here to launch our new program. Uh, it's called Bike Host. The Bike Host idea is to uh, really reach out to our newcomer population. We just would like to match them with uh, more experienced uh, cyclists in Toronto so that uh, they can show them safe way of uh, doing cycling and uh, to boost their confidence in, uh, in cycling in their new country. Hi everybody, people with bikes, if you want to go on a ride right now, we're going to go with this group and the rest of us, we're going to walk down to the bike rental place and uh, get some more bikes for people who don't have them yet. We are from India and we just came two months back to Canada. It was a nice experience, we really, really enjoyed. My name is Andrea Garcia. I work for the Toronto Cyclist Union. I'm the Director of Advocacy and Operations. When CultureLink got together with the Bike Union to create this partnership, it was a way of reaching out to a community that perhaps the Bike Union wouldn't have been able to reach out on our own. And it's really the first time this has ever happened in Toronto um, in terms of having all of the, the information in one place in so many different languages. It's so accessible to so many people. Hi, I'm Hiva. Um, I'm in Nukumar to Canada from Kuwait. I recently heard about the Bike Host program and I had just gotten back on my bike since I moved to Toronto. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to explore the island and meet other newcomers like myself. Um, and that's exactly what happened. Um, I came here, I had a lot of fun. I met a lot of newcomers and also a lot of people who have already been established in Canada. So it was a great opportunity to network. Um, yeah, and I met my first um, Arab friend in Toronto today which is really exciting, so I've had a good day, I've had a great day.